Ah, oh, good morning, me hearties. A very good morning to you. Tis me, Scotty McLean, the first lord of the internet and the world stock broadcaster, saying good morning to all of you on a Sunday morning at midday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's the wonderful Maria Knight has just joined us. Bless you, Maria. Top, top lady, I say. And uh, a very warm welcome. I know you'll be getting your luncheon prepared. You'll be up to all sorts of things. But it's definitely worth popping up to say hi to you. And also to say thank you to you for joining us in all these tremendous lives. They are so popular. And it's just brilliant. Thank you also for going to the YouTube channel and subscribing. Very, very much uh, appreciate because you will get yourself access to 1,275 videos at the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. See, Scotty McClue is not just TikTok. Scotty McClue is absolutely across the internet. Patrick, I thank you for your very kind gift. Can you say hi to Lucas? He's heading to the swing park. Yes, Lucas. Yes, have a wonderful morning. Dinky do. Thank you, Patrick. That is so very, very kind of you. Patrick has just sent me a beautiful red rose on TikTok. And for that, I am very, very grateful. Thank you. If you've just joined us, guys, of course, it's Scotty McClure. So get yourselves on here. And dinky do. No, Ruby. I think you're telling me a wee whopper there. Patrick, thank you so much. Maria, thank you. You're very, very kind. So there we are. Very, very generous, guys, and very much appreciated. Can you please follow me as soon as you come on? Uh, Who's your do's? Uh, dinky do with the eye pecking. Oh, eye pecking. Patrick, thank you. Again, dinky do. Tremendous stuff. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us, and a very good morning to you. Well, I should actually say... Good afternoon, because I see we've just gone at 12 o'clock. So there you are. Do you think Greenock will ever be civilized? Greenock, when I lived there, was perhaps one of the most civilized places on the planet. And I would hope things haven't changed too much over the last 30 years. And Greenock will be one of the most civilized places on the planet yet again. Because I would like to see it as the financial capital of the world when Scotland goes independent. Furry boots, you fee. Aye, furry boots. We're, uh, we're fee TikTok. We're fee Scotland. Nice to see you on again, James. Thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. Can you do a dinky-do for Livy, please, Scotty? I certainly can. Dinky-do Livy over in Ireland there, I say. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, lots and lots happening this week. Obviously, the death of Prince Philip, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip. The Prince Philip. That's the way to uh, use the proper address. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh. So there we are. His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. And uh, remember that Scotty McClue got that out very, very fast for you. I had a half-witted idiot saying, why are you reporting this? I thought, well, I am the World Stop broadcaster. I am the first lord of the internet. People will expect it. And uh, also, we got it out there very, very fast for you. So all I really was needing was, thank you, Scotty. That's it. Of course, you get a half-witted idiot on there. Anywhere there's Celtic fans, there's a great civilization, says a gentleman there. Uh, is it better to fry haggis or put it in the oven? Are you talking about the little round haggises? Haggai, I should say. The same as black pudding. You know, I mean, I would just fry them. But uh, <coughs> what we used to do with haggis was boil it. And uh, I remember, um, I remember when they brought out polythene for a while. And they were wrapping haggises in polythene. Haggai, sorry. They were wrapping them there. <laughs> Is this one of the Attenboroughs? Says Don. I thank you, Don. That's a huge compliment. Uh, they were wrapping the Haggai in polythene. And uh, one exploded in our kitchen. <laughs> there was haggis everywhere. Hello, Scotty. Opinions of Celtic fans letting off fireworks during the minute silence for Philip. Well, that's just total ignorance, Deeks. Do you know what I mean? 
I mean, if the president of Ireland had passed away, I would never in my wildest, craziest dream ever think of disrupting any silence. These are the people who have such tiny minds, one really fears for their safety. Do you know what I mean? That sort of behavior, you know, just nonsense. So there we are. Lovely to have you with us, guys. What's your opinion on English people? English people, I adore absolutely love. Remember, I've worked in England a lot of my life and been made very, very, very welcome by beautiful English people. The problem is Westminster has been sucking the life out of Scotland for 313 years. And that's not gone down so well, I have to say. But that's not English people. That's Westminster. So there, would you expect that? Would expect that from Celtic supporters? It shows their upbringing, says Ward Jason. Well, that's quite hard. You're implying that every Celtic supporter has been very, very poorly brought up and has been brought up to have no respect for anybody. And I think that's a bit harsh. So there we are. And uh, what do you think about roadmen? Well, I'll do you an impersonation. Are you ready? Stop. Go. There we are. That's me doing an impersonation of a roadman. I think they're fabulous. I always give them a wave when I pass, you know, at these temporary traffic lights. I think that's very, very important to do that. They are show, says Deeks. Absolutely. There we are. It's a good one, Deeks. When somebody the other night saying, what's your content? And I thought, my content are the people of the world. That's my content. Do you like starting away black pudding? I do. I exceptionally do. Love it. Um, no, not for anybody. Just British people. No respect. So you think, Ward, that people of Britain, people who live on the landmass called Britain, because remember there's no country called Britain. Britain is an amalgam, a united kingdom at the moment. Brexit will have damaged that of Scotland, England, Northern Ireland, and Wales. You'll see. British imperialism has caused genocide and theft of goods people. Well, it's not just British imperialism. I mean, every country has an imperialist background. I mean, Ireland more or less took over the world. Everybody's got Irish blood in them, you see. And then there were the Moors, yes, uh, out in the Middle East and in Spain. And then uh, there were the Spanish Empire, the Portuguese Empire, the Dutch Empire, uh, the British Empire, the German Empire, uh, what else? The French, yes. Everybody's had the Belgian Empire. Everybody's had an empire, so you can't really, you can't really, who's this halfwit? Watermelon sugar. I think you need to go and grow up. I think you're something of... A wee problem to yourself, aren't you? <laughs> you don't know if you're in Weems Bay or Mumbai. So there we are. Um, thoughts on Prince Philip, an outstanding public servant. Wonderful man, putting in a full shift at the age of about, uh, what was he, 96, 97, when he took partial retirement. And a wonderful, wonderful companion to our head of state, Her Gracious Majesty, Queen Elizabeth, you know. So, no, Prince Philip, just wonderful man. Harry Hudson, dinky do. Scotty, you're talking nonsense, bud. Deeks, I've never, ever talked nonsense in my life. So I'm hardly likely to start now. What you're saying is there's things that you don't understand and you don't necessarily agree with. That's totally different to me talking nonsense. Okay, Deeks. The Irish were cast out after famine and colonialism. Um, no, but that was for a period, you see, and the famine, I mean, the Scots were cast out as well after famine and colonialism. Colonialization, colonialism. You know, so the Scots understand, and everybody understands that. The Indians, the Africans, you know, that sort of stuff. The Australians were sent there because they were criminalized. You know, all that sort of stuff. So what we need to do is move forward, all right? Uh, you know, accept that the famine was, um, what are we talking now, 160 years ago? Is that right? 100 and, 180 years ago, yeah. So if you want to live the rest of your life, 
stuck for 180 years. That's why I'm saying Scotland needs independent now. We're not harping on about, you know, 313 years ago. We're just mentioning it. What do you think about Boris not going to the Philip funeral? Um, I hadn't realised that he, he wasn't for any reason. So there we are. I'll have a look. What was the reason for that? Uh, what's the story about Wales? Ah, now there you are, you see, Joe. Wales as well, very tough time, colonialised. Yes, but now you've got your principality and you have a Prince of Wales, who's the son of Her Majesty the Queen. Can you all follow me, please, guys? A lot of people haven't followed us on here. Pity the scumbags that let off the fireworks during the minute sounds. Well, they're very bad. There's always somebody going to let you down. But hopefully now they'll just home in with the cameras and they'll be able to ban them from Celtic games for the rest of their lives. And that would be quite a good thing to do, I think. Just make an example. What's in your hat? The Scotty McClure badge. Dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. Can you see that the right way around? There we are. Let me check if you can see it the right way around. I'll have a look. Yes, there we are. You should be able to see it the right way around. You see that there? Scotty McClure, dinky do. I have uh, another one here. This is uh, given to me by a beautiful lady. The most desirable man in the world. Isn't that beautiful? I hope all the guys watching have got somebody who thinks... They're the most desirable man in the world. We love that. Uh, so that's the story about Wales there. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. The royal family are disgusted. But no, they're not. They'll understand that there are idiots out there. I think the funeral should be ended about Deeks. That would be nonsense. Sarah Queen, how very, very lovely of you. Sarah Queen is sending me red roses live on TikTok. And she's sending me a huge amount, you know, an embarrassingly huge amount if I was ever embarrassed about receiving beautiful gifts, but I'm not because I think, Sarah, that's so generous, so generous. She's being so, guys, you can see Sarah on your screens. She's sending me, she sent me 59, 60. Sarah, Sarah, that's all your pennies. You need to look after your pennies. Sarah, has just sent me 70 red roses live right on this program. I absolutely swear to God. Is that not beautiful? Sarah, thank you so much. Very, very generous. Very generous. Uh, so there we are. So Deeks, uh, let's deal with you, chum. The royal family will never, ever, ever right, be the end of it, because we require our monarchy as the curators and custodians of the crown, which is our symbol of authority worldwide. Yes, the same as um, in Ireland, you've got the tricolor, in America, you've got the stars and stripes, in France, you've got la Marseillaise, all that sort of idea. Our symbol of authority is the crown. Our royal family are the custodians. Now, Prince Philip lived till almost 100. The Queen has lived till coming up 95 to date. And, uh, you know, I think that that's a very long reign, the longest reign ever after Queen Victoria's. So quite, quite outstanding public service. People forget both Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip because we would defer to them out of protocol and respect. And you will be the same, Deeks. Everybody does. Yes, everybody loves the royals. And, um, you know, as soon as we have that, then, you know, we will have our next generation of royalty. Okay, all right, Dix, have you got that? Um, Boris gave up his seat for a family member to be fair to him. Well, that's excellent, Karen, so that's good. I hadn't followed that. Have you struggled through the lockdown? I think everybody struggled through the lockdown, but the reason I chose to have something like this, the live pop-ups, was because the news was always so depressing. And I thought, these people out there need to get back to normality. They need to have somebody who has a slightly lighter take on life, and you got Scotty McClure. 
You get me? So we have a lovely, happy live stream on TikTok. Now this is going viral. Everybody is loving it. The feedback has been outstanding. Gavan, thank you for your terrific generosity there. So I think that's what's happening there. I think we're good together, but Scotland wants to leave. Tom, it's not a question of Scotland wants to leave. The real separatists are Westminster. They disrespect Scotland. They take £75 billion a year from it and give a little bit back, but they don't say thank you. We will send this money and we will build your economy again, rebuild it, so that Dundee, Aberdeen, Perth, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Kilmarnock, Paisley, Greenock, Stirling, Inverness, the Western Isles, you know, we, we will rebuild that so that you are very, very strong economically. Now, what Scotland's saying at the moment is, let's not send the 75 billion to Westminster. Let's keep it and rebuild our own economy. That's the economic side. I'm not political. I don't do politics. I'm a political, but I do do economics and I do do common sense. All right. So there we are. Uh, I think we are good together. So that's the, so from, from, you know, good together. We're very, very good for Westminster. Oh, cameraman slipped there. We're very good for Westminster, but we're not so good for Scotland. Do you see what I mean? So it's not fair. Uh, Boris is right not to go to the funeral due to corrupt. There we are. So that's that. Yes. Uh, Scotty, I haven't been able to leave bed since the Duke died. I'm absolutely devastated. Ross, he would not want you to be uh, so upset and devastated. So please think about his wonderful phrase. The Duke left us such a rich, rich legacy. And his wonderful phrase was, you just get on with it. You get on with it. You know, and he got on with it. He had a very tough childhood, and he got on with it. There we are. Hope you're having a fabulous day, Scotty. In Northern Ireland, we have rioting. Yes, but what? I've had a look at this, and I think it's youngsters with nothing to do on their hands who have thought they'd get into this. Now, I was wondering, just to make an example, if we should bring back the birch for these youngsters and give them a leathering, and then they might start to think, we shouldn't behave like this. Do you see what I mean? We've been so kind now, and I love it. I love the fact that we don't in any way uh, chastise young people nowadays. I love that. But if they're as out of order as that, they may need a short, sharp shock. And that might involve what used to happen in my day, the police taking them up a clothes and giving them a leathery. And then when they go home and, you know, they're in floods and the parents say, what happened to you? You know, you know, or what happened to you? They go, I threw up a big hoof break at a police. And you say, and I got to lay up. Well, that's what you deserve. And if I hear that you've done it again, or if the police come to our door, you'll be getting leathered again. You know, so just just that sort of sobering up thing. Hope you have a fabulous day, Scotty. Sarah, thank you so much, Sarah Queen. So there we are. Um, now, who have we got here? Uh, the best, oh dear. Get Star, you need to seriously look at your life. There's Get Star telling us he's a friend of very undesirable people. Uh, Boris isn't going to HRH funeral because of COVID limit. 30 gave his place to a member of the royal family. Quite right. Quite right. Lovely, lovely. Sarah, thank you so much. Sarah Queen sent 70 roses, guys. Is that not fabulous? I was looking into uh, what the situation between Fergie and Andrew. I suspect they are very, very close friends. They, they are do. Yes, absolutely. Uh, what says, abolish the monarchy, establish a Scottish Republic? Deeks, you can't have a Scottish Republic 
It's not acceptable, right? If it wasn't for the Queen, you wouldn't have a Scottish Parliament. You see, she granted Scotland their Parliament and parliamentary privilege. Yes, so we say thank you. There's no, why would you abolish the monarchy? The monarchy is a Scottish institution. It's been going for 2,347 years. What kind of half-witted idiot would want to change that? Plus, it's apolitical. It's nothing to do with independence. You silly, silly fool. There we are. Uh, watch your pronouns. We never, ever, ever ask anybody that, Leelas. That's so offensive. Oh, my goodness. Hang on a wee minute. What a wee problem here. <laughs> there we are. The camera keeps falling over. <clears throat> we'll get it sorted. Right, that should be better. Oh, I've got, I don't know about you, I've got a wee problem here, guys. Let's see if I can get this back. See if I can sort this for you. Okay, guys, don't be making negative comments about the prince. We won't have it on here. There we are. I'm trying to see if I can get this back. <laughs> mm. uh. A bit zoomed in. I know we are. I'm just not sure how to zoom out again. Not sure how to zoom out again, guys. Um, what's this? 